Hello everyone and welcome to the video today. This is a topic I've been meaning to discuss for a long time, but I wanted to make sure I had some good experience before I did so. Truck camper versus camper trailer. Now we're gonna talk uh, weekender, we're gonna talk full timer pros and cons for both, uh, and at the end of the video I'll give you my opinion of what my favorite is. I spent most of last year living out of my flatbed truck camper, and I've spent the last few months living out of the A-frame pop-up camper trailer. So I feel like I have a good amount of experience to share with you now. So that's mainly what's gonna be in the video. I'll run my intro and I guess I'll see you there. So I'll give you a little backstory. Uh, I've got a lot of new subscribers in the past year or so. Uh, so m you might not know that last year I spent most of the year living out of my Dodge Cummins with a flatbed truck camper. It had an XP Cube camper. This was the prototype, the very first um, and last Cube camper that XP ever made. And an absolutely amazing camper. Uh, so I have a lot of experience with that. It was not a cab over camper. It was a little bit on the smaller side of campers, but it was also, um, you know, an off-road rated camper. It had 145,000 miles of adventure and uh, went to the Arctic Ocean twice with two different owners. So it was kind of another level of truck camper. And then I sold that truck at the beginning of this year to buy a Jeep Gladiator. I want, I'm going to be building that Gladiator uh, into a flatbed truck camper home on wheels. But for now, I've been towing around this A-frame pop-up camper trailer. And there's been a lot of really great things about it and a lot of bad things. So I want to share some pros and cons with you. We'll start with the good stuff. It's really nice to have a very quick and easy way to put your camper on and off of your truck. That's one area that the camper trailer really shines. It's way easy to hook up compared to getting a truck camper loaded in a truck is a whole other ordeal. Uh, so that's one pro of the camper trailer. It's very easy to set up. It's very easy to keep uh, things separate from your vehicle and in your home. So, you know, I keep all the heavy stuff, all the cooking, everything like that, keep it in the trailer here. And then when I detach the Jeep, I can go mob the Jeep and I'm ready to go. For events like King of the Hammers, this was perfect. Uh, places like Moab, uh, you know, areas that you might wanna stay for a while and be able to use your vehicle, perfect. If you've got a modified Jeep and you're towing a light trailer like this, really really cool setup in that sense that you can detach your home have your super comfortable home and have your super capable jeep and honestly that's a lot more practical than what i'm trying to do which is have it all on one truck with a truck camper and be super capable and be able to take it off easily the biggest downside of the trailer is its maneuverability it doesn't really allow you to explore like i like to explore uh, i've had a few times where i've turned down a dirt road you know, been really cautious about where I go and I still end up getting in a, quite a pickle having to do some crazy Austin Powers turnarounds with the trailer. Here's a classic example of why exploring with a trailer sucks. It's coming down this road, it's a pretty wide road, but there's a turnaround right there, or there's no turnaround right there. And now I'm trying to turn around right here. So I'm gonna be able to do this. I'm gonna be able to pitch the trailer into there and back out eventually. <laughs> <laughs> right on the edge of this if I would have gone over that way it would have been really bad but yeah I literally just rode the side of this um, and then back here and then look I had to I was up uh, up here too look at this I came all the way up to the edge here and then I had to unfortunately drive through this bush but look at this if this would have like caved in right here I would have been screwed. But then check out over here. I had to wedge the trailer up into 
up into this and build this little wall here. Sorry about that. I'll repack you there. With the truck camper, uh, it's no bigger than the footprint of your vehicle. It might stick out a little bit more, but only a foot or two at the most. And so that's the biggest benefit of the truck camper to me. You can park in a parking space. You can go to your friend's house. And if they say they have a spot for you, you can be confident that you can fit because you fit in a parking space. If you have a trailer, um, you're gonna have to plan things out a lot more as far as where you're staying. Now, one benefit of the trailer as far as resale, um, there's a lot of trailers. There's a lot of different types of trailers also. That would be a, a benefit of a camper trailer. A truck camper, you pretty much have that hallway down the center design. That's pretty standard across the board. My truck camper was one of a kind, very unique. Um, and the next one will be very unique side entry, a lot different than the, the standard. But most truck campers are just a hallway down the middle, dinette or something on the right or left, and then kitchen on the other side and, and a cab over bed. So um, that's one thing with the camper trailers is you can really look around at all the options, the tent pop-ups, the A-frame pop-ups, uh, no pop-ups at all, uh, pop-outs, uh, toy hauler. Uh, there's so many different options and they're all pretty affordable for the most part. Um, you Being able to transfer between vehicles uh, is very nice. The truck camper is a lot more specific to the vehicle, um, so it might be harder to find one for your vehicle and it might be harder to sell as well. It's something to consider. Overall though, the truck camper is gonna have most likely a, a lighter load. Um, even this trailer is one of the lightest you can get. It's still about 1,500 pounds. Most truck campers, uh, if you're talking pop-ups and things like that, are between 1,000 to 2,000 pounds. So, it's overall, you will probably have a lighter uh, overall vehicle. Also with the truck camper, you're not gonna have any insurance or registration. You don't have a separate plate or anything like that. Um, with the camper trailer, you do have to keep up on those things and it's a bit of an added cost. Another con of the trailer, as far as costs and maintenance, you got two extra wheels, you got an extra axle, you got a whole extra frame uh, here. So when you compare that to a truck camper, there's a lot more to maintain. Wheel bearings, trailer brakes, uh, tires, things that go out, things that you're gonna need to keep up on and maintain. It's gonna be a little bit more, of course, than any truck camper. So where do these two, uh, the truck camper and the trailer, where do they have their place, at least in my mind? And, and again, I wanna give you guys a little bit of a disclaimer. All these are my own opinions, my style of traveling and, and what suits that. And my style of traveling is the overland kind of style, I would like to think, where you're not trying to go uh, to a spot for a week or so and hang out. Um, you're, you're trying to move most days through spots and go from point A to point B to point C to D to, and just keep going um, rather than, you know, going on a quick weekend trip away from your house and then coming back. Um, there's, I have very different thoughts of what might be suitable for different uh, scenarios. So I think the truck camper really shines in a scenario where you're trying to get up, move spots at least once or twice a day, um, and you're trying to move quick. Like our Alaska trip, for example, if we were towing a trailer, it would have been so annoying. Um, we did so much driving and so many miles, and the agility of the truck camper, not having to worry about anything else extra behind you, um, you know, taking the trailer off, setting up, being able to explore, that's where the truck camper really shines is, is longer trips, I think. For a spot that you go once and you stay, you have a home base set up, the trailer shines. Um, if you are you know, working nine to five throughout the week and you just wanna go out on a quick weekend trip and you don't have your camper installed, hooking up a trailer will be a ton easier than loading your truck camper and going. And I'll be honest, I've never had a truck where I load and unload my truck camper. It's either been on there or not on there. So uh, I am more taking this from my friends' experiences, seeing my friends who have camper trailers and seeing my friends who have truck campers. Seems like the ones with camper trailers want to get out and, and use them more. It's more convenient than loading the truck camper and planning all that out.
couple of my buddies literally, you know, when they want to use their truck camper, they plan it out like a day or two before and they load it up and they get it ready. It's a good idea to do it. The trailer, you really can just hook it up, have it ready to go and, and go and you're off in 20 minutes or so. At the end of the day, it really depends on what you want. Um, any of the information in this video, like I said, is just my own opinion, but it's from solid experience. One other thing I will say is a trailer is pretty much always going to be bigger and, and have more space uh, than your truck camper. This is one of the smaller trailers you can get and this is way bigger than the Dodge Mahal truck camper. It's way bigger than the truck camper that was going to be that's going to be on the Gladiator. Now sure you can get a host mammoth triple slide out truck camper that's way bigger than this as well. Um, but you know those are fifty sixty thousand dollar truck campers whereas you spend fifty or sixty thousand dollars on a camper trailer and I mean you can get a used fifth wheel like huge home something like that or um, I mean you can get a black series off-road camper trailer for for that and, and those are sweet trailers I really like those um, so there's a lot of different options out there in conclusion my conclusion, conclusion. is um, if you are a full-timer and you're trying to live full-time and travel quite a bit um, and, and just explore and see new things on the daily and all that, truck camper, no doubt. Um, Pop-up, hard side, whatever. It's just going to allow you to move quicker. If you're a full-timer that wants to spend weeks at a time in one spot, the camper trailer, I think... Uh, has a lot of benefits. If you're a weekender, uh, I think it really depends on, all of this depends on where you wanna go is number one. You have to think, I feel like that's the place to start. The number one thing is always, where do you wanna go? So if a trailer isn't gonna get you there, then you can instantly wipe that off, off the list. But if you're trying to go to pretty standard campgrounds and uh, mild spots, the trailer versus truck camper conundrum is something that you should really think a lot of it about and kind of put yourself in each scenario and, and see what might be best. Uh, I will say if I, you know, buy a house again, if I have a home base again, um, I am going to personally want to have a camper trailer probably. And I will probably want to have like a truck topper with a bed set up that I could go do quick and, and do my gnarlier off-road overland runs in just a smaller setup, lightweight, um, and then have like a camper trailer for King of the Hammers and certain events throughout the year, certain camping trips. I'm a huge fan of truck campers and I can't wait to get rid of this camper trailer and be driving a truck camper again. As comfy as this trailer is, as much as I love the layout, the A-frame, it feels like a home and a cabin, I don't want to pull a trailer and I am so excited to be back in a truck camper. Uh, so thanks for listening. Comment, let me know what you think below. I want to hear about your experience and how it relates and if you agree with this or uh, I'm curious too if it's if you have totally opposite opinions uh, and why because I can always learn from that. But if you did enjoy the video, be sure to turn that thumbs up blue. And if you really want to support the channel, check out my Patreon. I've been doing weekly updates for my patrons only, and I'm starting to give a lot more back to that platform specifically uh, because I, you know, I appreciate my patrons and the people who are truly supporting this channel from the back end. Um, so thank you so much for being here. I'm so excited to build this Jeep up this year. And like I said, get a truck camper on it. The only question I have for you are you down to mob? <laughs>